Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So before we get started building the search filter, let me show you what exactly is happening right now. I'm actually fetching country names from an API and I'm storing it inside a variable data using set data. If you don't know what set data is, it's actually a method by which uh, consider it a method by which we change the variable name in React. Uh, if you if you if you're not familiar with hooks, don't worry. By the end of this video, you're going to be familiar with that. And so what I'm doing is whenever this page renders, use effect is going to run. It's fetching the data from the API and it's I'm storing the response, the data inside the response inside this data. Now, this data has the country names. Now, what I'm doing is uh, like uh, now this this actually is the web page which we are going to users are going to see. So there is a div which has a search bar and there is another div output inside which what I'm doing is I'm mapping through the data. Data is the variable which has all the country names. I'm map mapping through them. And uh, what I'm doing is uh, what this code actually does it that I'm uh, getting the country name and displaying it one by one. Now I'm going to show you how exactly you can build the search function. The first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to create two extra variables. One will be const. I'm going to call one input. This is the input which the user is going to get, get uh, give and I'm going to give another set input is the method by which we can change the value of input. It is called a U state hook and you just give it a value equal to U state and you initialize with an empty string because initially there is no input. So what I'm doing is I'm actually importing U state from react and I've also imported use effect. So make sure you do that. And now I'm also going to create another variable called output. Now what this output is going to do, I'm going to store the filtered data inside the output. Okay. And I'm going to initialize this with an empty array because initially there is nothing inside the output. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to run a piece of code every time input changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a use effect and Let's actually remove this in between. Okay. And uh, inside the bracket, we have written input. That means every time input changes, something is going to run. Now let's actually inside the input tag, let's actually run a function. So what I want to do is every time on change equals to every time the input changes, what I want to do, there is an event happening. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to set input to event dot target dot value. So guys, what it's going to do is it will actually find out whatever we have entered inside this uh, input tag and it's going to set the value of input to whatever that value is. So now the value of input has changed. So that means this use effect will run. So every time input changes, I want to run something. Now guys, uh, I want you to pay attention to this next part. Uh, it's going to make sense in a minute. So the first thing I, I'm going to write is I'll set output to an empty array just to make sure uh, that it's completely empty. Now this next thing is the most important part. So what I want to do is I'm going to filter through data. So this is actually a method in JavaScript. So if you're, if you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to do this. So I'm going to filter through the data and for every value or for every item inside the uh, data. What I'm going to do is if value dot country dot to lowercase. Now, uh, the reason I have written value dot country is because uh, this API has a uh, country name and that is how I'm fetching it. So it could be anything. It could be value dot title or whatever. Uh, that particular thing you're accessing in the API. Okay. So what I'm going to do if value dot country dot to lowercase. Okay. If this includes now, uh, this is a thing in JavaScript. It's going to make sense if it includes input dot to lowercase. So what it's going to do is it's going to run a piece of code. If the country name includes uh, the input, that means if it is equal to or maybe it includes uh, a part, a, a substring of it. Now, if this condition holds true, what I want to do is I want to set output to
So I'm going to set output to an array which has all the initial values of output as well as value is being appended value is that particular country data. Okay. Now the next thing which I'm going to do is instead of mapping through data, I will just map through output and our work is pr pretty much done. So right now it's empty because I have not written anything. If I search I, then it's going to get return all the country name which have I inside it. If I write India, it's going to give me India. If I write USA, it's going to give me USA. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. So to summarize what happened that every time I'm uh, giving an input value, uh, that input value is being set inside the input variable. Now every time the input variable changes, I'm running a piece of code. What I'm doing is I'm setting output to an empty array. Then I'm filtering through the data variable, which has all the API data. And then uh, I'm just simply comparing that if that input value is the same as the country value, then I'm setting the output to what uh, whatever value inside the output was there previously. And just I'm appending value to it. So most of the times the API don't have a search function or a search uh, endpoint. So you can use this to search whatever you want. And I think it's a very useful uh, trick to know. And I hope you understood this.